Okay, everyone, it's Tuesday, it's July the 10th, and guess what? If it doesn't suck, it's not worth doing. If it doesn't suck, it's not worth doing. What the heck am I talking about? Uh, I'm reading a couple of books right now, and one of them is by a gentleman uh, called Jesse Itzler, and he wrote about living with a Navy SEAL. We all know these Navy SEALs, they do incredible work. Their mindsets are like way up here. And so uh, he was inspired by this Navy SEAL, consequently inviting him to literally live at his home with his family for a month because this Jesse guy was literally admitting to being in a personal rut himself, a personal rut in his life. And so he wanted to shake out of this rut and out of his routine. So he invited this Navy SEAL world-renowned Navy SEAL to, to live with them for a month. And so day one, this Navy SEAL takes Jesse to the gym and he says, how many pull-ups can you do? And Jesse goes, ah, you know, I could probably squeeze out six or seven. So he gets up and it, by the way, it's one of my favorite um, exercises. One, two, three, and he makes it all the way to eight and does eight pull-ups, okay? He takes 30 seconds to rest and the Navy SEAL looks at him and says, you know what, do it again. And it's like he gets on the bar and does another six. He struggled to get those six done after doing the first eight. The Navy SEAL says, go, go get a glass of water, come back, take another 30 seconds and do it one more time. And Itzler got up on the bar and did one two, and was just barely able to do the third one, at which point he just collapsed to the ground in complete exhaustion. So he did the original eight, then he did six. The Navy still told him to do, take another 30 seconds and go another round, and he did three. All right, then, the Navy still said as he was looking at this gentleman on the ground, exhausted. His arms were just like jello. He says, we're not going to leave here until we do another 100 pull-ups. And Itzler was puzzled. He says, how the heck do you expect me to do another 100? And he says, all right, we're going to be here a long time then, the Navy SEAL says, because there's no way he was ever going to do 100. But you know what? Itzler ended up doing and completing the challenge, doing one pull-up at a time and getting and completing another 100 pull-ups. After, if you remember, he could do only the original eight, he struggled for six, and just barely did three more. The principle that this Navy SEAL was teaching him was this, and what he calls the 40% rule, and this is kind of what the topic is for today, which essentially means that most of us, really all of us, max out mentally and physically at 40%, and then we stop. And the fact that at the 40% that we think is our actual capacity, going way past that 40%, like in his example of only being able to do eight pull-ups, six pull-ups, four pull-ups, and thinking that that was it, that was literally his 40%. He went on, thanks to the Navy SEAL, to prove to himself that he could do another 100 pull-ups, which the bottom line is only when you go past that 40%, that if it doesn't suck, you know, uh, it's not worth doing and, and we won't do it. So what he was trying to teach us is this, that we have to shatter this mental barrier by completing the 100 pull-ups. You too can get out of the ruts by pursuing all the negative and tangible objectives in your life. The concept is this, to complete this Facebook Live, do something and don't stop until it's complete no matter what. So much more is in your reserve tank. So much more is in my reserve tank than you and I think. Okay? Hit the wall in a marathon. How many people hit the wall in a marathon after 16, 18 miles? But you know what? Over 90% of them end up finishing off the marathon, even though they hit that wall. Okay? That because you have it within you to do that much more and get it done. Because if it doesn't suck, it's not worth doing. And the example I just gave you here of pull-ups, and I'm familiar with that because I do pull-ups every time I go to the gym, 
I can do another 20. I can do another 30. What about in our business? Can you make another 10 calls today when it's, you're absolutely exhausted? Can you reach out to another person? Can you reach out to your team members? Can you, can you set up two more appointments before the end of the day? Of course you can, because right now from these stats, you're only hitting that 40%. And you're capable and I'm capable of so much more. We have it in us to do that. And hopefully you get the message here that if it doesn't suck, it's not worth doing. And you and I have so much more in us to go beyond what we think uh, is complete exhaustion, when it, whether it's mentally and physically to literally, you know, suck it up and go past that 40%. And that's where it's going to become uncomfortable. But that's where you're going to earn the wins. Hope you got some value from this Facebook Live. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Feel free to share, uh, comment below, and we will chat with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.